Here we go again, another YouTuber saying that this driver tip is gonna change your golf swing. Well, I've got some truth and some facts, it is. I did this with Graham just last week and it really helped his golf swing. But Chris has also sent his swing in for Sunday swings. And a look at his swing here. We get a little bit flat through the shoulders, hands get very low, and it really finds it hard to get back to the ball. Now, he did say my hockey stick drill really helped him get the club face under more control, but that's not it. This is gonna really help him improve it. Remember, whatever we say about his game, it's great that I can really help Chris, but it's gonna help you as well. So all you're gonna need for this is your driver and an alignment stick. Let's get into the drill. And as you can see, I'm at this cracking facility, the beaches, just outside Chelford, Nutsford, right near me. It's where I'm gonna helpfully help improve my game. We'll get a little bit of facts, how far it goes. Let's get into the drill. So there's two stages to this drill, okay? We're gonna talk about body and how we stand to the golf ball because we know that's important. How we stand to it, as Ian Porter says, will determine how we end up there at impact. And we won't have to manipulate it too much. So first off, alignment stick needed. Place it across your chest, get into golf posture, and I just wanna make sure you've got a few checkpoints here. Armpits over the toes, middle of the hip through the middle of the foot, we've got good balance points to start our golf swing. So we don't wanna be in a position where we're really bent down here and swinging it around, because it's so tempting. Drive is so long, we wanna swing it flatter, we wanna swing it more around the body. We've sort of gotta resist that urge. Yes, it will be flatter than stood to a pitching wedge or a seven iron, but we've gotta resist that urge for making it too around the body. It tends to open the face. So into good golf posture, I want you just to make a few reps doing this. And remind yourself, this is the feelings of the body in the backswing. Got a little bit of this for a right-handed player and we've got a little bit of right pocket, okay? We put that all together, look at this now. This is the turn I want to see. You can see my right leg's losing a little bit of flex slightly. I'm really starting to get that turn and that pivot around my body. Now you can imagine this. If I've got a better turn and pivot, my hands can get higher. If I'm sat down and it's working more this way, the hands are gonna naturally get a little bit lower. It's exaggerated, but if we summarize this now, left bend, right pocket, that will really allow us to get into that position. So if I'm giving you the best piece of advice you can start with right now, get to your range, put your clubs down before you even hit a shot, align it across your chest, right hand out in front of us, left bend, right pocket, feel it. And you'll notice how my palm is matching the alignment stick. My right elbow is where I really want it to be in the backswing. So we're really starting to train what we're looking to have already. Let's get into stage and part number two. I've also got a little bit of a treat for you today. Using the Trapman range here at the driving range, I'm gonna show you how far I hit it. Please hit a good one, please hit a good one, please hit a good one. So the second stage of this, we imagine we, we've done 10, 15 reps, feeling how the body moves. And by the way, even if the first part of this doesn't really interest you, do it anyway, because it's just good for a warm up. Get the body active. How many times you just go and hit a ball, it goes high right, I'm guilty of this, I know this, um, and you pretty much determine your range session that way. And you think, bloody hell, not this again, not this again. Let's not do that, let's use this straight off. Okay, so alignment stick up our side, we're gonna grip it with the driver as well. We're gonna remember these tilts and turns. What I want you to feel is to start your swing, allow the hands to work in, the club to work out. Now you'll notice, I've already got this left bend happening that we mentioned before. Second stage, set the golf club in between your feet line and where the golf ball is, keeping this lead wrist flat. And all I want you to do now is keeping these constant, left arm to left shoulder, right arm to right shoulder, keep all this constant, turn it to the top. Look how now my hands are higher. So it's almost like, and this is the best tip that I was told as a junior, it's almost like I've got a box in here and I'm lifting this box up and up. I'm not changing it, I'm not allowing the arm to bend, I'm not throwing the box over. It's a great way and a really nice simple analogy. So hands on, left bend, set it, right pocket, hands really nice and high. We're into a really good position at the top of the backswing. So blending this into your shots, I mean, I'm not, we're not gonna lie to you now, it does take time to improve our golf swing, and that's the one thing I would say to every single golfer. Don't get disheartened straight away, it doesn't go right. So over the ball now, build it, feel it. Okay, hit one away. Hit one away just softly to begin with, getting a feeling for where the ball's gonna go. 
at that feeling. Okay, that felt alien. Fine, it will do. Number two, we ramp that speed up a little bit. So we start to get more comfortable. And the final one, we've got all those feelings fresh in our mind, fresh in our session, and we're gonna show you. Hopefully, <laughs> this one goes bombs away. Here we go. Let's ramp this one up. Feel it, remind yourself of those positions. Thank the Lord, I've hit one. Let's have a look. Still going away. How cool is this, by the way? Not quite out of the range. Ball speed's in there. Carry 260, 281 total. Let's open for a bit of Bryson then. 450. No, I'm joking. I'm absolutely dreaming. So there you go. There's two stages of this drill. Hopefully that highlights why we need to get the body moving better, how we need to move the hands. It gives you a great position at the top of the backswing. That is the end of this week's Sunday Swings. And thank you so much for Chris for sending his swing in. I really hope it's helped you, Chris. Um, and if it's helped you as well, Thank you so much for tuning in. Now, if you want to be in a, with a chance of winning on Sunday Swings, it's really, really simple. Number one, all you've got to do is join this team by hitting that big red subscribe button. And number two, all you've got to do is share this video. I want to help as many golfers as I can. So if you share it, I can help more golfers enjoy this game. And finally, so I know you've shared it, comment down below, hashtag shared it. Thanks for joining me.